It's been a tale of two halves this September, an unsettled start, lots of wet weather around, but then things have turned much drier and much calmer. And that's the theme that we're going to take really through the next 10 days, or at least much of it. Currently, the jet stream is meandering to the north of the UK, and it's uh, that that's led to high pressure building. We've had high pressure dominating through much of this week, and it's going to continue to do so as we go through the end of the week, albeit it does shift to a little bit away towards the east. That being said, Lots of dry, calm weather to come as we go through Wednesday night into Thursday. So again, a, a chilly start for many of us on Thursday morning. And then through Thursday itself, well, a fine day. Plenty of sunshine on offer. Just worth noting, towards the southeast, the northwest, there could be a bit more of a breeze here. Notice the isobars a bit closer together. Then into Friday, again, a, another largely fine day, though perhaps more cloud coming in from the east. And this could bring a few spots of rain, a few showers perhaps, but generally dry. And actually across western areas, is seeing a good deal of sunny weather as well. Though worth highlighting, there is a frontal system, a band of rain out towards the west of us. So that's set to come across as we go through this weekend. I'll have the details of that in a second. When it comes to these 10-day trends, I often find when I'm talking about the weekend, it's always important to look at what's happening uh, the other side of the Atlantic. And that's definitely the case this week as well. Hurricane Gabrielle was a major hurricane, is tracking its way eastwards towards Europe. Now, it's likely to take quite a southern track heading towards the Azores. In fact, the Azores do have a hurricane warning out for Thursday into Friday because of the risk of some heavy rain, some very strong winds as this feature pushes its way through. Then it's likely to track further eastwards towards the Bay of Biscay before eventually decaying as it goes. But even though it's relatively far away from the UK, what it does do is it influences our weather as we often see. And there are some question marks, there are some uncertainties about what's going to happen through this weekend. But let's go through what we do know. Well, that front that I highlighted earlier later on Friday, that's going to come closer and is going to push in as we go through Saturday. But the raw Met Office model is indicating a, a, a small area of low pressure developing just to the northwest of us. And if this comes off, then we'd get a wraparound of rain and also some strong gusty winds towards the northwest. But I'm not so sure. Many other models don't actually have this separate low feature developing. And instead, we just have this band of rain making its way from north to south, and it's all going to push its way eastwards across the country. So whether or not we get the blustery winds towards the northwest, I'm not so sure. But nonetheless, we're pretty confident of this band of rain pushing through. That band of rain is then going to make its way eastwards across the country as we go through Saturday and clearing sometime on Sunday. But there's uncertainty as to exactly how quickly it clears, all due to what was Hurricane Gabrielle, because the Met Office model, again, I'm showing you here, has it decaying near the Bay of Biscay and edging a little bit further southwards. But some model runs, here are some forecast tracks from various different outputs, some model runs have it going a bit further north. And if it goes further north, then it could interfere with the front that's pushing across the UK and actually cause it to hang back a little bit and stall and so across some eastern, southeastern, even southern parts of the UK, we could see some cloudier, wetter weather for a little while longer. Let's look at the details, though, for this Saturday. And we have this band of rain pushing through, going west to east. Some heavy bursts. We're talking 20 to 40 millimetres, perhaps, in the wettest places, western higher ground, for example. But then it's likely to clear away. As I highlighted, there could be some strong winds towards the northwest, but I'm not expecting it to be especially strong. And then the Met Office model currently wants that to clear away. So actually Sunday, apart from a few showery bursts here and there, looks largely fine. But there's a reasonable chance that that cloud, that rain, that band could linger at least across some eastern, southeastern parts through Sunday as well, if Gabrielle just tracks a little bit further northwards. And so worth bearing in mind that the detail for this Sunday, well, that's still a little bit uncertain. Although we are going to see that band of rain clearing through at some point, it may take a little while longer than the raw model is suggesting. But let's look further ahead. This is the 10-day trend after all. And these are our most likely outcomes for this coming Monday, so the 29th of September. And the most likely idea is once that band of rain clears through, however quickly it goes through, we're going to then see high pressure building behind it. And this high pressure is likely to then dominate again. I 
did say the second half of September as a whole looks like it's going to be more settled and that's what we're likely to see again once that band of rain pushes through this weekend. So high pressure somewhere towards the northeast of the UK looks quite likely. The second and third most likely setups for next Monday don't look too dissimilar. Again, high pressure, the most dominating story. And if this comes off, well, it looks like it will be a bit drier than average with more fine and settled weather. Worth bearing in mind, though, that front could still be lingering as we go through into Monday. So it could be a bit of a slow progress to see this high building. Nonetheless, as we go through later next week, Tuesday also looks like we're going to still see high pressure most dominant. And in fact, it's a similar story through Wednesday. I mean, Wednesday, the third most likely outcome, albeit only with a 10% chance, does have lower pressure somewhere closer towards the UK, more towards the northwest of us. But the most likely setup is still for high pressure to dominate. And that's the theme as we go through the end of next week as well, through Thursday, through Friday, high pressure nearby, particularly somewhere towards the northeast of the UK. That looks the most likely setup. Now, if this comes off, there are a few things that you would expect. Yes, it's going to be drier than, uh, drier than average. There'll be a lot of fine weather around and we should start to see our temperatures lifting a little bit because of the direction that the air is coming from. Remember, around your high pressure, they go in a clockwise direction, so we'd be dragging in our air from the near continent. So at this time of year, slightly less chilly than when we're dragging it in from the north. But let's look at the anomaly charts from ECMWF because they back up what I just said. And these are looking at the week as a whole from Monday the 29th of September till Monday the 6th of October. And the pink's indicating that higher than average pressure is more likely. So especially towards the northeast of the UK. So the high centered somewhere towards Scandinavia, but across the UK as a whole, it looks like it's going to be higher than average. And with that then, no surprise that when you look at the rainfall anomaly or the precipitation anomaly, it looks like it's going to be markedly drier than average as well. So through much of next week, it looks like after a bit of a blip through this coming weekend of something wetter for a little while, we are going to see more dry weather to be had. And then I mentioned those temperatures. Yes, we've had some chilly nights recently this week. I mean, with high pressure, calm winds, clear skies, perfect ingredients for temperatures to take a bit of a tumble. And that's what we've had, and that's what we're going to continue to have. Let's take Cardiff, for example, for through the rest of this week. But once we get to the weekend and then into next week, yes, there's a, a reasonable spread in our box and whisker plots for our minimum temperatures, but they do look generally closer to average, not much above, not in fact, maybe even a little bit below at times, but closer to average than they have been. If we look at the maximum temperatures, they've been hovering around or a little bit below average and will continue to do so through the end of this week. And then they lift up because of that change in where our air is coming from with the position of that high. You would expect our, our daytime highs to be around or a little bit above average, especially when you get some sunshine by night. If you get clear skies, you would still see temperatures dipping. So it could still be some chilly nights, could be a bit of frost, but generally the, the air is just going to be that little bit warmer, a little bit milder perhaps than it is at the moment. So a bit of rain to come through as we go through Saturday could linger for a little while into Sunday. Gabrielle's going to have to make its mind up on that one, but thereafter more fine weather to come as we go through the end of September. Bye-bye.